Sir, today is an opportunity day that we are initiating this beautiful day for signing an MMU with CSN and HRGC to work on, uh, you know, the filling the gaps of skill enhancement of the internationally trained nurses and the healthcare professionals. Harry, I think this is a historic day for CSN as well because I think that we can come up with global solutions right here in Las Vegas and in Southern Nevada. And I want to thank you for your vision to make this happen, uh, to bring 70 nurses here, uh, for them to, to, to get NCLEX certified and accredited, creating that bridge opportunity is going to improve the quality of services, not only in their home country, but it's going to provide employers an opportunity, hopefully to grow some of our local workforce too. So I, I thank you for your vision for making today happen. It's an honor to be It's an honor to be here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. As a representative of Turo University, which has a nursing program, Program, medical school, physical therapy, occupational therapy, physician assistant program. I am so delighted to be here today to see the launch of this remarkable program between the community college and, and the um, uh, international health care program. We're going to bring in more um, health care professionals. They're going to get their degrees here at the college and then they're going to be out in the community as a strong workforce. We need all the healthcare professionals we can get, and I'm just delighted to lend my name and support to this wonderful and innovative program. Hi, good afternoon. This is Dr. Rigel J. Tan. I'm the past president of the Nevada State Board of Nursing, and proud to say I'm one of the 11 NCLEX examiners throughout the country from US and Canada. I'm very excited about this program bridging internationally educated nurses into the workforce of Las Vegas. So I'm very active in this community and in this program helping edu uh, foreign educated nurses get into the safety of the public in the US. So come join us in this program and thank you. That we had to stop all this <laughs> great conversation and wonderful energy that is in this room and I think that this that energy reflects the energy that has taken many of us through a journey from maybe six to nine months ago to be where we are today and today is a very special day as we begin a new chapter of this journey to provide some uh, state-of-the-art uh, training programs in the areas of uh, allied health, such as home health care programs and also a very special program, Bridging for Nurses. At the moment, we plan to be start our work with a group from nurses from the Philippines. But with that said, I'd like to introduce to you our partner and congressman and our president. So thank you very much, all of you, for being here. And Harry, uh, pass the microphone to you. Thank you, Prince, uh, for being with me today. It's uh, really an honor to be sitting on this part of the table today. Uh, yes, as Carol says, the journey starts about nine months ago when we had an, uh, you know, an opportunity to meet uh, Dr. Z at one of the events and where the emphasis was the shortage of healthcare professionals in the state. So uh, my focus was state. However, when we do the census and reading out the statistics, the whole world is suffering because of the shortage of workforce due to all this pandemic which we face recently. So I had some thoughts I shared with Dr. Z, and he immediately comprises all the team members to come forward to start working on that ground. And today is a journey which is starting with a new chapter. The journey is taking a, a different shape altogether where I have a beautiful team who supported me 
day in, day out. And there were opportunities where we were slowing down, not able to understand and what next. But my whole team was with me to work on and we achieved it. And we set an example when we traveled last six months ago to Philippines as a trial run. And we are absolutely successful to bring those nurses and the health aid professionals now in, in a month and a half to go through that program, which is designed specifically. And uh, we are ready to you know, open up those chapters for the global market. It's not only fulfilling the demand of the shortage, but we are, our focus is to enhance the skill sets of international candidates who love to you know, grow up in their skill sets and serve their own country as well. I'm not promising anyone here to look for a job here, but our main emphasis is to train overseas nurses and healthcare professionals to come to us. We will enhance their skill sets and let them serve this beautiful uh, arena of healthcare initiatives. So in a quick note, let me introduce a few very strong members of my team who are day in, day out with me. Start from Rita Waswani. She is the organization's advisor. All trivial matters is poured into her table. So she's taking care of that. Donna is here, Donna Miller. Donna Miller is Executive uh, Director of the company, we have got Adnan Kwaja. Adnan Kwaja is uh, not only an IT guy, but he's a Faith Ramos. Faith Ramos is managing particular education. Member Stephanie. Stephanie is communication with all candidates across the world. We have Dr. J.P. Chan, who is the man behind <laughs> educating us the most important aspect of NCLEX. He's the person who's educating community that why we are doing this. We have a support of Odessa Barrera. And Ms. Bindi Parikh. Bindi Parikh is an educationist, not only educating me, but educating many more into immigration and the importance of visas and making them understand how the process goes in. So, you know, I'm not, I can't, I can't. <laughs> the most important person sitting on my right is Jack Wan, Attorney Jack Wan. I'm more busy than anybody else, but he's immediately available whenever we need him. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, all of you. I thank Dr. Z to giving me an opportunity to work along with the beautiful team of his and uh, a long way to go and we are ready with it, Doc. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the College of Southern Nevada and uh, I just want you to know we're a community college. This is your home. And I also want to tell you a little bit about uh, uh, our student body because we're very proud. We're, we're the most diverse higher education institution in the state of Nevada. So 70% of our students are students of color. And 10%, actually now almost 12% of our students are Asian students. It's the fastest growing segment of the College of Southern Nevada. And that's true in the broader community. And I say that because uh, when Harry talked to me about his vision, and I want to make it very clear, this was Harry's vision. You know, Harry understood uh, that we had some workforce issues in this community uh, that were at two levels. One of them is kind of the community level. So we all know we've got nursing shortages. I mean, we know that. Uh, and we also know that we don't have a response yet to the nursing shortage. Uh, and, and at that level, the College of Southern Nevada uh, has very strong and robust programs. Uh, uh, and we have the largest uh, nursing program in the state. About a third of all nurses started at, at CSN. So this is a, 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 a launching pad to deal with the workforce issue uh, in health uh, in general and specifically nursing. But I also want to emphasize that there is an undercurrent to this, and I know that only too well uh, in terms of, uh, of being on the other side of, of, of the fence. And that is that we have community residents who interface with the health system. And many times uh, we come into a system that doesn't necessarily understand our culture, 
many times doesn't understand our language, and we don't really have uh, good answers uh, as institutions to deal with that part of the problem. And so when Harry talked to me about kind of the ability uh, to address both international programs, because as he said, uh, you know, nursing care uh, and the quality of nursing is a global issue, uh, and it varies, but the standard of excellence is in America and, and the U.S. And the NCLEX is, is, is kind of the, that last hoop that the profession, the nurses have to, 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 to pass to, to confirm that they're operating at that American standard, which is the best in the country. Right, so what a, 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 a model to be able to develop a, and, and design a curriculum for international students where the focus is, is to be able to meet the NCLEX standard. That, that that's the bridge that, that this program is gonna attain. So we're hoping that, uh, again, we're starting with about 75 uh, uh, professionals from the Philippines that are gonna be coming to the College of Southern Nevada. And, 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 and I wanna kind of plant an idea. So this, this program, uh, obviously, uh, is going to address the needs of the students. They passed that FX, they're, they're, they're proven uh, that they've got those skill sets. But what an opportunity, right, for this community uh, to embrace these students uh, and, and this model doesn't promise uh, uh, employment opportunities, but employers in the room, you need to work with us because this is a tremendous pipeline for us to, to develop new models uh, that will help us address issues in the local community. So what we're doing here has national consequence. If we do this right, uh, and, and if we follow your vision, Harry, I have no doubt that we're going to be able to t take this model and not only grow it, but also to replicate it across the country. Where we have growing Asian communities, uh, this model is, is critical. And I would even suggest that it's not just for Asian communities, where we have communities uh, uh, where language is an issue, culture is an issue. What better way than to uh, address this internationally? Because we've proven one thing. And, and I want to say this from the bottom of my heart, we've proven one thing, and that is that we cannot do it alone. Community colleges cannot do it alone. We need these kind of partnership, we need this kind of vision, and this kind of energy. And I want to also make one other observation. We also need the kind of support that Congressman Horsford had given to the College of Southern Nevada. Uh, we probably wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the work of, uh, 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 that we got during the, the COVID period. Uh, it's her funding that provided us with bridge funding to keep our programs going uh, because uh, the, we were in a scenario of declining enrollment. And if it weren't for the actions of the congressman and, 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 and the uh, administration, we would be in a world of hurt. We probably wouldn't be here. So I want to acknowledge that. And secondly, when we talk about nursing, uh, and we are the standard, uh, uh, not only in, in America, but, but this is one of the best community colleges in America in terms of, of the labs that we have here. I mean, these are industry standard, state-of-the-art labs, they're expensive labs. How do we maintain them? People like uh, Congressman uh, Orsford, who uh, <laughs> built in those line items so that we get these amazing labs. And, and, and actually, we're looking at expanding this program uh, uh, with the Nursing Simulator Lab uh, up in, in the North of Vegas campus. So this is what it takes uh, for us to do what we're going to do. What we're going to do is not easy. Uh, and it took one year. And if it wasn't for Harry uh, and his patience, uh, I don't know that we would be here. Because I love attorneys, I, I, I do. I, I love attorneys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but Harry, how many times did we run up against the wall? Well, that's you know, there, there is this uh, provision and, and there this concern, and the, there, there was this and this all the time. And Harry would just come back and, and, and we kept moving forward. And, and Harry has got some wonderful attorneys <laughs> on his team. And that's what made this happen. Uh, it was a powerful mission. It was two organizations that want to make a difference in the community. Uh, and it was a model. We have amazing faculty. We have an amazing curriculum, amazing facilities. This model is going to work. It's not an if. It, this model is going to work. The, the, the real question is, you know, are we going to continue to embrace it and to grow it and, and, and for it to do that everything it can to enhance the quality of health care for all Americans, but including Asian, Latinos, and others who have a second language and a second culture. So that's why I'm so excited about this. 
I want to thank some of our people that, that, that are in the house. Uh, Lawrence Weekly over there. Lawrence said you can just kind of... <laughs> So, so Lawrence uh, has kind of kept us all together on, on, on the uh, CSN site to make sure that the attorneys are talking to the to the instructors that are talking to the coordinators, etc. And, uh, and and so thank you so much, Lawrence, for all you do for us. Uh, this young lady to my right, uh, Rita, you have a counterpart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this young lady over here, uh, uh, I just kind of follow her lead, and, and, and things happen in the international field. Uh, and Carol has uh, over 30 years of experience making programs like this work. So when I say this is gonna work, it's, it's not our first rodeo. We did a lot of these programs at Alamo. Uh, it was known for our international programs and for innovation, and that's what we wanna start uh, kind of replicating. This is really a, 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 an area that, that we're excited about, uh, but I want to assure you this is gonna work. And we've got some of the best faculty around. Can, can some of our DWIT and our faculty just kind of stand uh, and be recognized? Dan, you're, you, you're, you're in that field too, so yeah. The, <laughs> these are the individuals. So this is kind of the CSN team, and uh, you know I just want to conclude my remarks by saying that, that uh, we're so blessed uh, that we were able to partner with the community and with leaders such as Harry, Rita. Uh, I mean, we, we can't thank you enough for all you do in the community, but also for trusting us uh, and, and for having the conversation for us and for making this happen. So we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the work that you all do. Thank you so very much. And this is the beginning, so we'll have plenty of time to uh, continue the dialogue. Can we? And if my boss is telling me now, we're gonna have a conversation. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Zarekel says always, it's great to be back uh, at the College of Southern Nevada. Um, I was just with you last Wednesday at the North Las Vegas campus with the SBA administrator talking about uh, sector-based workforce development initiatives and how we're really leading the way uh, through the College of Southern Nevada in, in connecting employers, uh, educators, students with uh, the careers that are in demand. And there's no more in-demand career than allied health careers. Um, and, you know, I think we have something like 4,000 uh, shortage of nurses here in Nevada, over 400,000 across the country, uh, LPNs, CNAs, the whole pipeline. Uh, and what you all are doing in this partnership, uh, Harry uh, and Dr. Z, is very innovative because it's about bringing all the various components uh, domestically and internationally to help leverage uh, our healthcare needs for our community. And ultimately, this is about improving people's quality of life. Um, I, I'm now the chair of the Congressional Black Caucus, uh, in addition to serving uh, in this district, which is one of the most diverse districts uh, in the country, ethnic, eth ethnic, ethnically. And so having the type of partnerships that really um, create pipeline of diverse talent helps to improve health outcomes for uh, communities of color in the Asian American Pacific Island, the fastest growing uh, minority population here in Southern Nevada, the Latino community, which is uh, over 30% of the population, and so many of our underserved communities, including in some of the rural areas that I represent. So I just wanted to say thank you. It's great to be here. I, I take my orders from Rita Beswani and I was told <laughs> uh, an event that I did not want to miss. But seriously, when I go back next week, we're going to start working on this year's uh, federal appropriations budget. And you're going to start seeing a lot of uh, debate about, you know, one, are we going to uh, pay our bills from the, the debts we've incurred? Um, which is a responsibility that Congress has so that none of you uh, have to feel the effects of, of, a, of an economy that's, that's thriving. We don't want to, to stop that. But at the same time, we will start to pass uh, the federal appropriations bills. And there's some 15 different appropriations bills that get passed. It's not just one bill. It's a, it's a bunch of smaller bills. Um, and the farm bill is a big part of that. There are workforce components in there. <coughs> Uh, there will be the National Defense Authorization Act, uh, but we will also be passing uh, programs that fund the College of Southern Nevada, uh, focus on Hispanic serving and minority serving institutions, and these type of partnerships that help meet 
people where they are. Um, and so I'm looking forward to working with you. We have a dynamic immigration team in my office. Uh, so I look forward uh, to making sure that we are partnering with you on the J-1 visa process. Uh, but I just wanted to stop by and say thank you for showing our community the model of success. You know, there are a lot of things that people say that we can't do. This is something we can do. And the beautiful thing is we're doing it by using the asset of our diversity. Sometimes we talk about diversity as a negative. This is the asset that we uniquely have here in Southern Nevada um, and that we can attract internationally. And with the College of Southern Nevada leading the way, I know uh, we're gonna produce the outcomes that we need for people. So congratulations. Yes. For the sake for everybody that's here, how many of you have really met or known Congressman Stephen Horsford? Raise hands. Just a few. Make it a point to know him because he is a very strong community person. He supports everything that goes in the community. If you have heard of him but not have met him, this is your time because he is a doer. <laughs> when he says that he will do, he actually does it. And you'd be surprised that people do not know him but may have heard of him, but he's a doer. He's a community person like every one of us here. Thank you. say a few words. Um, this is a uh, uh, college that's near to dear in my heart. Hello, Rita. <laughs> um, when I was on the University Board of Regents, uh, this uh, location was created, and it has been nothing short of spectacular. From one very small building to what we have now, where I'm at I and K and who knows where else. Um, I think we have a lot to be very proud of. I am very excited. Huh, I'm out of breath because I'm, I'm very excited about this program. Um, it's a combination of people that I love, Harry and Rita, and their Healthcare Professional Bridge program, which this is creating. Uh, they're going to be instrumental in making it happen. And where's our president? Um, thank you so much for creating this partnership. It's important because it's going to provide further accessibility to affordable health care for the people in Southern Nevada, which is desperately needed. And Stephen, I am <laughs> I I have known the congressman since he was a child. <laughs> Way before I was gray. Way <laughs> Actually you're grayer than I am. <laughs> didn't want to say anything. <laughs> um, I, I just, uh, not, nothing political, but just a policy um, a statement. I couldn't be prouder of this congressman. He is doing an extraordinary job, not only here in the state of Nevada, but he's making a tremendous impact in our nation as well. And I Thank him for being him. Thank you for being you. I love you, and I thank all of you for being here to launch this wonderful program. Show me you love me. Stephen, the Oh, yes. Join us. 
Who shot? Who shot? Three. One more. Okay. Just give me a second. Now I'm not out of breath. I'd like to start over. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, Harry, uh, congratulations, uh, President. And I think launching this program as far as diversity uh, is important to every single one of us. Uh, Harry was able to launch the program, our diversity council over at Nevada Dose Network. So we are the beneficiaries, we're the employers uh, that are looking for programs such as this to hire from. Uh, we have 200 plus employees uh, here at our campus here in Las Vegas. We have an additional 15 uh, team members up in Reno and growing and we're looking to hire and we are looking to recruit the talent that's grown here. So congratulations, Eric. Thank you.